This morning I'm joined with Brian Tompkins. He is at Shriners Hospital for Children. So this morning we're talking about going and seeing the doctor and for both parents and kids it can be a little scary but I want to start with why is it important to see a pediatric trained orthopedic surgeon um, versus any other kind? Well for a lot of complex problems involving kids bones and joints um, uh, healing and treatment can be very unique. Kids are growing all the time and they have uh, uh, parts of their skeleton called growth plates that make them longer. That's what make your bones get bigger. And uh, those can affect how kids heal from an injury or heal from treatment. And so um, surgeries designed for adults don't, know, don't always necessarily translate to kids. So all of us that are surgeons at the uh, Shrine Hospital here in Spokane have all done or extra orthopedic training specific for just pediatrics. So I have a five month old at home and you mentioned growth plates. Talk to me a little bit more about that and um, how it can actually change the course of a child. So growth plates, they can get injured or you can have an infection and so they can grow at different rates. And if that happens, kids can basically grow crooked. So some kids after a fracture, for instance, if it involves a growth plate, they need to be monitored uh, more carefully and over a longer period of time because uh, kids grow until they're teenagers. Of and course. where are these growth plates? Um, they're all over the place, but on the big long bones of your skeleton, they're at both ends. Okay, so. perfect, perfect. Um, let's talk a little bit about Shriners Hospital specifically and, and what all um, parents and children can expect to be treated there. So we do a variety of uh, uh, cases at the Shrine Hospital. We do everything that involves kids and bones and joints. So everything from very rare, rare disorders that are basically one in a million, only a handful of kids in the world have these disorders, mm -hmm. to something very common like a wrist fracture or an ACL tear. Um, so it's the whole spectrum of diseases from spine disorders to club foot, congenital problems to neuromuscular problems like cerebral palsy. Now you mentioned that uh, you have to get extra training for pediatric care. What are some of your specialties? So I specialize uh, in uh, spinal deformities, particularly scoliosis and kyphosis and also as uh, well as hip preservation in the young adult. So trying to prevent kids with uh, congenital hip problems going on to needing an early hip replacement. We can do some things to make their hip last longer. Are any of these things that you do um, identifiable as the child is still in the womb as a fetus? Some things. I mean, the, the most common one that we see uh, that's diagnosed when they're in utero is club feet. So we get a lot of referrals uh, from the OBGYNs in mm -hmm. town uh, that uh, uh, to come and consult with us before the child's even born to talk about club foot treatment, which I think is very helpful for the families. It's It makes the whole birth a lot less stressful when you know what you're yes. getting into. So. Wonderful. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. More information on myfoxpokan.com.